Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to discuss Sequelize versus Prisma. Which one is the best? Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. The choice between the Sequelize and the Prisma depends on the various factors, including your specific project requirements, preferences and the features offered by each ORM. Here's a comparison to help you make an informed decision. Sequelize. Maturity and the community support Sequelize has been around for a longer time and has a mature and established community. It's widely used in the Node.js ecosystem and a large user base. Database support. Sequelize supports a wide range of databases including PostgreSQL, MySQL, MariaDB, SQLite and the MySQL. Okay. Flexibility. Sequelize offers a more flexibility in the terms of database models relationships allowing you to define the complex associations between the models. Advanced querying. Sequelize provides a powerful query capabilities including raw qu SQL queries and the support for the complex queries. Prisma. Type safety. Prisma is known for its strong emphasis on the type safety which can reduce the likelihood of the runtime errors and make your code more robust. Modern development. Prisma embraces modern development practices such as code generation and has more modern and YouTube API compared to the Sequelize. Automatic query generation. Prisma generates a query builder automatically based on your data model, simplifying the process of interactive with database migrations. Prisma has built-in support for the database migrations, making it easier to evolve your database schema over time. GraphQL integration. Prisma offer use in the conjunction with the GraphQL dots type safe nature, making it more good fit for the GraphQL APIs. <coughs> Considerations. Here you can see that Prisma lets you filter a list based on the criteria that applies not only to the models of the list being retrieved, but to a relation of, of that model. Sequelize does not offer a dedicated API for the relation filters. You can get the similar functionality by sending a raw SQL query to the database. So this, this is the comparison. If you prioritize the type safety and the modern development practices, Prisma may be the better fit. If you need support for the wide range of databases and want more flexibility in defining the complex relationships, SQLize might be the better choice, right? Ultimately, both SQLize and the Prisma are popular and the capable ORM and the best choice depends on the specific project requirements and the personal preferences. It's recommended to try out both and see which one aligns better with your development style and the goals. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Do you have any feedback? You can also write it down. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.